foot eight Harvard Westlake basketball star Brady Dunlap got his Halloween spirit from his parents. And when his dad Jeff was an assistant coach at North Carolina State, their parties and decor were legendary. Well, now their new hall home is decked out and Jill Painter Lopez was brave enough to take a tour. Halloween's always been a passion of mine. My dad kind of grew me up on it, and I love just the scary, spooking people. I was a kid, I would jump out, people would scare them. We always love spooking little kids and spooking and just making everything super scary. And I love that, that aspect of Halloween. Nothing's working. Oh my God! <laughs> We're at the Brady Dunlap house here in Newhall. And of course, as we start the scary decorations, we start with a cemetery. What, what do you like about this area? Yeah, no, it just brings back a lot of memories for me. When we first got to North Carolina, this is kind of where our building blocks was a cemetery. But the cemetery will always be special to me just because it was just how we start everything off. And this guy? Do we have a name for him? I do not have a name for him. He's just, this is the guy that probably creeped me out the most when I was young. Now, do you tell your friends about this? Do you warn them or no, would you rather not warn them? them? I don't warn them at all. No, not at all. Back in North Carolina, we had similar setups. I'd sit on the chair and the zombies were on the right. So if they went to the right, the zombie would get them. If they went to the left, I would get them. <laughs> so this is kind of like my partner in crime. I always loved, I always loved the zombie. Did you used to get scared when you oh, were a kid? I was, I was definitely scared. I was 100%. It helped me, it helped me not get scared by scaring other people. Where did you pick up your Halloween spirit? Did that come when you were a kid? Yeah, my mom loved it. She was she always dressed out as a witch for Halloween and hand out handed out candy and, and I we we loved it. So I got as I got older I, I tried to create the spookiness of the house. I wanted things to jump out at you and startle you and sound and different things. You know, we had a little show business in our family, so we were kind of into all that. The more we could get somebody to, to, to hop and jump and, 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 and react, then, then we were successful. You guys make a big deal about Halloween. Does it feel like basketball is about to start when Halloween is here? 100%. We kind of squeeze it in before things get too crazy and we have to watch too much film. And so I always had the staff, different people involved with our program at various places that we've been would come and be a part of it. Your favorite uh, Halloween decoration that you have? You know, the one that, that got you walking in the door. I absolutely love that because he jumps up and he yells and, and that, that, that has sent uh, many a kid a running down the street. And we have traditions here, and it's just it's just a lot of fun. We always have who got the best pumpkin. And last year, I, I took the crown, which is the first time in my life. But yeah, just the family culture and just everything about it has been so much fun for me. And what are you dressing up as this year? Well, I'm going to be like a dead groom. Oh. I like just another scary aspect. I'm going to have just a white polo, nice pants, stitches, blood coming down, blood coming everywhere. I'm just bloody. I just I love like blood. It just I don't know why. It's just <laughs> just fun to spook people and scare them.